Yes, hello, and welcome now here on the PC cutting table. I'm already about a kilometer behind the starting point of Remscheid Lennep station, where I started with the train. Have you seen a bit of this in the opening video? I actually made the video because it's not a particularly long tour and it's only a one-way route. So, I have to drive back the route by public transport. By the way, here on the left it would go off towards Hückeswagen and Wipperfurth, Marienheide, etc. So this is not a special route, which I have actually already filmed a few times. Is there an older video about it? But in this context, I wanted to show you how I did it now. Especially since there is a Bergischer bicycle bus here, which somehow runs from March to October, but only on Saturdays, Sundays and public holidays. Yes, now I'm here at a place in Bermelskirchen. Here on the left you can see the skater park. And here ahead, halfway to the left, you can see is the supermarket Lidl. And I would like to tell you a little something special because I think that's my personal opinion. I think it's a shame what those responsible in Vermelskirchen have done. Because basically from here, did you strip the former railway line? for 2.5 kilometers early and use it as a bypass for through traffic. For this I have now shown you a map here. It comes into the picture right now. You can see the red line. That is the 2.5 kilometers. Which you now have to struggle through the city here and to the left of it, the black line, which is the former railway line, has now been misused along this length. And here you can also see in Komod that it is actually here now in the middle of the city, just as a bicycle. Yes, they have considered actually wanting to let a tram run again on the former railway line. Of course, I wonder if you then lay tracks on the bypass road, i.e. the former railway line, which has now been turned into a federal highway with the tram again. Somehow we don't really understand the whole thing yet. Well, so it's not exciting to drive through Vermelskirchen here. The two and a half miles are not great. The only positive downside is that, of course, if you drive on weekdays, you have a good baker here, which of course probably has Saturdays anyway, but probably also on Sundays I have a cafe to go here and potato salad and an apple puff pastry. Yes, as I said, despite the ring road or former band, despite which they are now used as a federal road, which I know how much doesn't run that far from here. I still don't think it's nice to drive here. You look up now, maybe you just saw it, a green arrow like that. And I think that's the hint arrow as to how best to drive through here as a cyclist. You see, Unfortunately, there is no bicycle protection lane here, but a lot of things here are throttled to 30 kilonaut h, by the way, since in this supposed pedestrian zone, it is even 20 kilometers per hour. Beware of cyclists. You can. You may also be flashed. So joking aside, here was just the green arrow again. Now you have to turn right here. Note the green arrow below. Yes, and now there is a protective strip again. And here I would have had to turn left. 
So this turn arrow there on the bicycle protection lane, I somehow found it now. So I'm not driving the road for the first time, but still somehow I didn't get the hang of it again. Well, well, the turn lane there is so conspicuous. Well, I don't know. I think it could be done a little better. Yes, regarding the... To make the route usable, again as a tram route, you see it's quite wide here. I think it was once two lane. So whoever is planning this is to keep the route suitable for bicycles and the tram line to the right or left of it. By the way, here's a ramp that I'm pretty poopy in good German. You'll find it on the left. Do you see where the trees are? It was probably originally the railway line, which ran lower, and there was probably a bridge on the left. You can see it goes up and down here. I always ask myself why they don't keep it at the bottom of the route for passing cyclists, as it would be here too. That the cut in the terrain was here to the right of that of the present route. I think that would be good somehow, but okay, you don't know why. Whatever the reasons, maybe the old bridge was too narrow. Bridges are always expensive and have to be maintained. Although here the road is probably wider now than the bridge before. But for the cyclists, especially those who are now, I say, on organic bikes, this is not very nice. Why not make a tunnel like here in these places? It is certainly very cost effective to realize. Yes, now here on the left, the A1, my short view, view towards Cologne and... And now the Borscheider train station comes here. The former train station was made outside or restaurant and there is now a construction site here. Unfortunately, you have to go around in Burscheid. I think it's pretty big crap because I feel like this construction site is already there. So at least a year, if I'm a year and a half, then at least you can do it here as a cyclist. Pass here again and you see Burscheider Grill. Yes, what did I get? Not currywurst fries, but at least a bowl of fries because I had the potato salad in the bakery, which is very, very delicious, by the way. I can only warmly recommend. Yes, and right next door to the grill, Burscheider Grill, you can have a look at the cyclists or former railway line. Now on to this one that was made suitable for bicycles. So, as I said earlier, with these ramps that were made, the original route could have been maintained to the right or left of Eben. Now here again, such a stupid ramp on the left is actually the terrain cut where you already are. You can guess that there used to be a bridge here and the train passed underneath. So, if you want to make a tram line there, then it's going to be a pretty expensive story, dear people, then you have to. I don't know if the tram will go up and down at the back again. By the way, there was a hinged sign here on the right, uh, with reference to some gastro, your look left into some local street, here already left the sign, town sign, Leverkusen, and yes, as I said, with the realization of this tram, so space would be, of course, but then the tram. Since letting the ramps go up and down, I think that's a bit of nonsense. So you would have to cut the terrain that was there before and bridges and well, I don't know. So I think it's a bit funny with this one. Yes, here on the right you can also see a remnant of a former train station 
with a waiting house like that I think it's very nice that you've preserved a little bit of that yes and now comes the review the Femi Palm 2 Pro I used it in this form in the video before so over the head in the direction of travel ahead the nice thing about this camera is that you can use the app you can then also see the perspective on the display of the smartphone there are such a thing as a compass north south east west unfortunately has a bit of low contrast but that's on the right in the corner of the display and you can control the direction of view of the camera so that's stepless it's not lockable or anything like that but if you move it in the middle like the button on the camera depending on how you move it is it possible to change the direction of the camera so I will certainly do some other tests and recordings for you and tell a little something about it you see now I change the perspectives with the camera I have on the left shoulder and with the Fimi Prime 2 Pro that was the test to bring in a few other perspectives and directions of you now I'm already here just before the Leverkusen train station as I said this is a tour the way I present it here now I wanted to show it to you like this it is only 28 kilometers which you can tear off once in a while especially from Lennep it always goes straight down towards Opladen and independent of the bicycle bus you can do it all year round so not only if the bicycle bus runs on Saturdays, Sundays and holidays you can return by train. In Remscheid Lenna the train keeps and here in Opladen there is also the train connection and yes and then of course you can choose. I'm here now. In this video I tested it now. I wanted to drive via Solindian main station. Yes, exactly. Platform 9 from there runs my S7. So, as I said, you can also do it via Wuppertal, then you have to change trains in Wuppertal, now you see three. The elevator is suitable for a 128 inch bicycle, but you will also see in a moment. Now I go along the underpass here to platform 9 and there you will see that unfortunately this elevator, funnily, not all elevators are the same. Here in Solingen, the one for track 9 is unfortunately too small for 28 inch bicycles and when I am on such tours where I don't know which lifts are waiting for me, I always take my fall bike with me here. With my 27.5, my God, 28 inch bike, then I'm always on the safe side. You see, I can open the lock a little bit, bend it a little and that's it. So here I am at the end of the video, I will now get on the S7 here, which unfortunately was again 10 over 10 minutes late, and then drive back to Remscheid Lennep. I thank you for watching, I would be very happy about a thumbs up, and of course a subscription, subscriptions cost nothing, wave wave take care and bye. 